Hi, I'm Right Rudder Left Stick. This is my YouTube channel. I'm sure you've seen some of my projects over the years. I've been posting some 3D printed uh, flight control stuff that I've been building, um, but I haven't been active for the last year. And that's because I've been moving and I haven't had a workshop space and a lot of my projects have stagnated. So this is my announcement that I am uh, setting up a Patreon page because I know a lot of people have wanted to help with uh, my projects. And now here's a way that you can help me uh, get this project in particular um, further along, which has kind of languished for about a year. So the idea with this stick is I wanted to have the ability to make a gimbal that had cams, like, you know, all the really great gimbal, uh, gimbal designs that don't have uh, a center detent, but have it be very large size so that you can floor mount it or mount it in a sim pit, uh, make it support heavy grips like this, Tornado grip is solid aluminum. Uh, it's quite heavy. Uh, being able to support heavy springs, I think right now these springs are maybe 10 pounds, which I should know what the metric equivalent is off the top of my head, but I can't think of it now. See, this is the reason why we need to use metric, but quite heavy springs, um, but also be affordable. My ultimate goal for this project is for it to be under 100 US dollars to make. And that's because the bearings are skateboard bearings or um, I think there's 6003 bearings, which are common in power tools, both commodity parts, just simple hardware, springs that are very basic. Everything that can be printed is printed using um, uh, 2020 extruded aluminum from a 3D printer. So the final design will be hopefully under 100 US dollars to make, and then you'll have a very big, very customizable full-size control grip. For the uh, electronics, uh, I'm gonna be basing it primarily off of FreeJoy, which is a very great open source uh, library that works with Arduino Blue Pills. Um, I highly suggest you check it out. That'll allow it to have 12-bit uh, uh, access inputs. So, you know, you'll have a, a limited throw, but you'll still have a, a high enough resolution. Um, probably using TLE 5011s for the sensors, which are also very high quality. Uh, but it'll be uh, electronically agnostic. If you want to mount it in different ways or do different things with it, that's perfectly great. It's open source, remix it, redesign it. I've also been thinking about uh, something with uh, piston dampeners for a helicopter cyclic, but that would be after this guy's uh, at the first beta stage. Uh, and there's some other projects that are currently up on the Patreon as well. I have the project file for uh, the ejection handle that I've designed. Uh, it's designed just to sit on aluminum extrusion or whatever way that you want to mount it in your sim pit. Um, and because on the Patreon file, the Fusion files are up there, you can redesign it to your heart's content. And this cable is actually very easy to make. It's just a cable sleeve that has yellow electrical tape wrapped around it. And then it's a Ethernet cable that I cut that I've then clamped between these two pieces of 3D printed parts. And then that's what makes the handle. And the way it works is it just has two springs from um, RC shocks, uh, 110 mils, but you can substitute them with other springs. And then it has uh, eight mil magnets that are just inserted in here. And you pull it up, and as you pull it up, it clicks a little micro switch in there on a roller, and that's what activates it. Right now I'm using a telephone wire because on the other end of that telephone wire, you have the two conductors that are in it. And then those two conductors on another device, whether it's you know a flight stick or a throttle or whatever device that you're building, you just put a telephone jack on it and then you can have this quick connect. So you can plug them in, plug them out, swap them out, um, and then not have to have an entire Arduino just for this device. But if you wanted to have an entire Arduino, you could put it in a little project box as well. So this is currently up on the Patreon. So if you uh, join a tier there, you'll have access to it. And then once I get it a little bit more refined, you know, there's still some tweaks I wanna do. Um, then I'm going to have it publicly available on uh, online as an open source. One of the big reasons why I have finally decided to do this Patreon is that projects like this consume considerable amounts of resources. Um, because it's not just the final design, which I hope will be under a kilogram of filament, there's a lot of reiteration, there's a printing, there's a change, there's a conflict, there's ideas that don't quite work around, and that uses quite a lot of this stuff. And, you know, because it's printed in PETG, it's a little bit more expensive than PLA. So um, that was something that we, I could really appreciate the support on. And the other aspect too is, you know, I've been experimenting with different sensors 
and ordering stuff from AliExpress is affordable, but it takes a lot of time. So being able to do batch orders of like trying, you know, order multiple different potential things and then being able to try them all out will be something that I really want to do on this project. The other thing is that I don't actually own any Thrustmaster or uh, Verpil grips. So I would like this to be compatible with other grips, like having a, a connection to a shift register for TM or Verpil or any other grips that I can get my hands on. Um, but, you know, either buying those or getting them used or getting them donated would be really great too. It would help quite a lot with the project. Because, um, of course, I've only got real grips. Um, I think this is from a Griffin helicopter, and then this is from an RAF tornado, which is quite nice, but for the open source plans, I can't include that. So I'll probably have a um, three, uh, 38 mil, 38 mil? Yeah, 30, M38 threaded screw with the um, designs for hooking up the shift register, and also potentially just an open source uh, grip that is just included if you have nothing else that you can just wire some of those uh, P1 style push buttons that I, I came up with recently uh, on that as well. And all of it be completely open source. Another big expense is bearings. Hardware and things like that is something that adds up pretty quick when you're building multiple prototypes. Um, and the tricky thing for me is even though I've got all the Canadian flag stuff there, I actually now live in Central Europe. Um, and that's one of the reasons why the project has stagnated. Um, but, but now I need to change all of my hardware over to metric because, you know, even though Canada still uses the Imperial system, I don't think any rational human being could say that Imperial <laughs> is the thing that we should be using in the 21st century. So that's another thing that I, I want to do with the project is move everything over to uh, metric uh, fasteners, metric hardware, um, and make it just so that wherever you are in the world, you don't have to find like a quarter 20, 3 8, 5 16, none of that. Everything will be metric. Uh, the other aspect, too, is for the design, I want to redesign it instead of using this uh, box uh, and like the, the groove uh, laser cut style, even though it's not laser cut, it's printed, but that, that groove slot system, I want to change it over to like a clamp cam shell that will make it so that these cam um, sections are cartridges that can slide in that you can put in a set because some of the suggestions that we've had is having it uh, the neutral position offset. Because on a Spitfire uh, control stick, uh, the forward position is actually vertical, right? It doesn't push forward, it stops vertical, and then it pulls back. So having that cartridge being able to, without changing the rest of the design or reprinting a huge component of it, you just slide that component in, put bolts in the top, and then the neutral position of the cams is offset for different designs. I also have other fun projects like the uh, Alien Smart Gun Dart Gun that I'm working on there, which isn't in the scope of this channel, but you know, it's, I have other things going on uh, that I might post about and, and share the files on. But I would really appreciate uh, if you'd like to subscribe to, a, to my Patreon and it'll help me quite a lot to get these projects underway. And I, I really hope um, by springtime or maybe early summer, um, if you know, we can get the resources together, having this guy uh, at a beta one release publicly available and have people printing it and making their own. Thank you so much for being a fan of my channel. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and comment below on some of the things that you would use a big stick like this for. Would you use it for making warbirds, for flying in the IL-2, which I'm a big fan of IL-2, if you can tell, or would you use it for DCS, or maybe for uh, helicopters? Um, please, let me know below. Thanks.